thousands of dollars in damage, dozens of blown tires, and still no suspect. Tucson police need your help finding whoever is putting spikes into manhole covers on the east side. The problem began in January. Another round of spikes turned up in April, and just yesterday, at least 10 more cars hit them in five locations. Not in your sides, Christina Myers joins us from one of those places. One that was hit last night. Nearly 30,000 people drive through this stretch of road every day. Now, Tucson police have removed the spikes from the manholes, but for the people who hit them, the damage is done. Avoiding manhole covers in the road can be difficult and dangerous. I don't see how you would without, you know, maybe causing an accident trying to avoid a manhole cover. Manager at Jack Furrier Tires, Marty Breckville, says he's seen about a dozen drivers hit one of these spikes left in manholes since the beginning of the year. The first clue is usually it comes in on a tow truck, typically two flats on the right-hand side of the car. Uh, once we get the tires off, we'll find an obvious impact break. Breckville says that break is usually two inches wide, blowing the tire immediately and causing $200 to $400 in damage. So very different than what you would see if, let's say, somebody hit a nail or something like that. Very different, yes. The nail's going to leave a small hole, maybe a pencil size hole, something like that. The impact literally tears the inside of the tire. The areas targeted have all been on the east side. In blue, the intersection hit in January, Golf Links and Harrison. In green is Pantano Parkway and Sleepy Hollow, where spikes were found in April. And the red dots show the intersections that had spikes yesterday. Pantano and Sleepy Hollow once again, Golf Links and Pantano, Camino Seco and Kenyon near Old Spanish Trail, Houghton and Cowhead Saddle Lane near Broadway, and Houghton and Tanca Verde. Now, police tell me that they're talking with business owners and residents in the different areas to see if anybody has any surveillance footage that might lead to a suspect or suspects. If you have any information, even if your car was damaged by one of these spikes in a manhole, you're asked to call 911 or 88 crime. Reporting live from the east side, Christina Myers, Kaga 9 on your side. Yeah.